All right, it's time to move away from the cowboy and on to uh, the uh, young lady. But first, I'm going to start working on creating the base. And I'm going to get started on that right away. I'll be right back. All right, I've just uh, spent about the last 45 minutes working on this base. It eats up time getting everything to work out as far as that goes. I'm going to have to uh, just basically sketch this in. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'll come back and improve on the base at a future time but for now I've got it worked out as far as I can get it and uh, I'll start on her I have to have the base before I can work on her because her dress is going to be down to the ground and uh, because it was a style of clothes back then all right be right back now, normally this would take about 10 pounds of clay to do a base this big. That's expensive. But I came up with a way of doing this without using a lot of clay years ago. And uh, I cover how to do that in a couple of my videos on uh, Vimo, which are instructional videos that I've put together, all nine of them. And uh, you might want to check the link below this video uh, for a review of all my nine instructional videos. I put 50 years of my sculpting experience, little tricks and shortcuts that I've come up with over the years, and... Uh, in those videos and it's well worth looking at all right i'm going to get busy on her in just one minute all right it's time to pull her head off and <laughs> get started sculpting it i'm gonna cut down that uh, wire just a little bit All right, I'm going to get started on the uh, forming the face and getting it ready to put features on, but I'm not going to show all of that because uh, I cover that in my instructional videos. I hate to keep telling you that, but that's what I do. All right, I'll be back when I get uh, to a certain point here. Okay, I've got the shape of the head scaled and prepared for the uh, features. I'm going to put it back on the body temporarily just to see what it looks like. Okay, I've got to check my proportions. Yep. The shoulder width is a one and a half heads and uh, actually my chin is just a little bit long. So I'll have to uh, adjust that. Okay. All 
All right, I'm establishing the center line. Big Nose Kate. <laughs> There's actually a character out of the Old West that had that name, and it was, I think, Doc Holliday's girlfriend. But this isn't Big Nose Kate, so I'm going to cut her nose down that at least establishes where the nose is All right, I'm going to put the head back on the body and just see how it looks. I'll do some arranging of the face, but uh, I mean the head position, but it's, uh, it's certainly in uh, proportion to the body. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to pick this up tomorrow and, uh, that's going to have to do it for today. I'm just running out of time. I spent a lot of time on this base that uh, I didn't video because it was just too, uh, well, it'd be boring television <laughs> or video. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.